Since Madison ended your relationship for good, I wonder if you're in a good place or good and mad about how things went down. I have questions. Are you upset that Madison went on the batting cage date with John Pringle? I mean, look, she she told me about that. And, uh, you know, she was like, this is not a date. This is not a date. Like, I don't really know Pringle and, you know, his kids, you know, and I am too freaking trusty, Mandy. Um, and I'm like, okay, you know, it's not. But, you know, she she told me and she made it very clear to me that, you know, you know, Pringle ain't it. Did it make you mad seeing Madison's gleefully, seeing Madison gleefully comment on Pringle's washboard abs? Yeah, I mean, it didn't, it didn't, you know, bother me like, you know, ugh, you know, it wasn't like a dagger for a lot of other things that she's done to say that, you know, another guy has a nice body. Like that's the least of my concerns with her. Are you mad that Madison made you out to be a hot drunk mess in quarantine? Um, well, you know what? Like, I mean, you know, Andy, I mean, you, you have told us that you, you know, yourself watched. I mean, there's you, one You person. were a hot mess during quarantine. Yeah. 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 Okay. Wait, is that the beanbag? Craig, that's the beanbag, the infamous beanbag. Uh, yeah, that's sure. The bean bag. Uh, that's the beanbag. That's the beanbag. There's only one person in the world that had something bad to say about those, and it was Madison. Well, I mean, if you and I were dating, I might have been, I might have not have been as much of a fan of your okay. Instagram lives. Yeah, maybe so, I guess. Um, by the way, uh, well, does it make you as mad as it makes Craig that Madison quite literally sends you mixed messages, like ending things, but then saying you'll hold hands forever? I have to assume that's that's problematic for you. Yeah, it's maddening, um, you know, because because it keeps me on the hook. And are you mad that Madison doubted that you have what it takes to be successful and provide for her financially? I mean, you know, her whole thing, she's like, I don't need, you know, some man to, you know, take care of her. Uh, it definitely upsets me that, like, she won't just, you know, give me kudos for where I was and to where I am. And, like, she does not see the hard work and just won't give me the credit. Yes, it's maddening. All right. Thank you very much, Austin.